Hello, my name is Connor, and today we will be taking a hive tour with Erica Thompson of Texas Bee Works. Honeybees are fascinating creatures. They pollinate 30% of the world's crops and 90% of our wild plants. A typical honeybee hive can contain anywhere from 20,000 to 80,000 worker bees, each worker dedicated to the health and happiness of their queen. A couple tools essential to any beekeeper, experienced or beginner, besides the beekeeping suit, are a hive tool and a bee smoker. The smoker is used to mask the alarm pheromones bees naturally produce in order to alert the hive of predators. The smoke has a calming effect on the bees, allowing the beekeeper to work in the hives while their defense response is muted. A metal hive tool is used to lift up frames in a Langstroth hive, as the one Erica has here. Even with the use of a smoker, working in the hives can get fairly loud. Let's listen as Erica inspects the hives. Another interesting fact about honeybees is that almost every single bee we encounter in the natural world is female. Female worker bees have the capacity to produce both honey and comb. According to Golden Blossom Honey, in order to produce one pound of honey, two million flowers must be visited. A healthy hive can produce 60 to 100 pounds of honey per year, while a single worker bee only makes about one twelfth a teaspoon of honey in its entire lifetime. A tangible benefit to keeping bees is the harvest of local honey. For those who suffer seasonal allergies, local honey or raw honey has been found helpful to desensitize them to local fauna that triggers the allergic reaction. Not to mention, local honey tastes amazing. Bees collect nectar from flowers using their long proboscis or antennas and store the nectar in its special stomach or honey stomach that is separate from the true stomach for digestion. Once back at the hive, the bees will chew on the nectar, gradually turning it into honey. Worker bees then store the honey into honeycomb cells, then fan it out with their wings to dry it out. When it's ready, the bees will seal it with a wax lid to keep it safe and clean for later. Bees are born the same size they will be for the rest of their lives. This little guy was just born, and you can tell due to his white color. See how he is twice the size of a female honeybee beside him? This comb is interesting because you can see the larger cells on the left that likely hatch drone bees, while the right has smaller cells that likely produce smaller worker bees. A geometric oddity, and home to over 20,000 honeybees in a single hive, honeycomb is fascinating in that it serves many purposes for the colony. Worker bees have special wax glands that allow them to convert the sugar content of honey into wax. Through very small pores, bees produce tiny flakes of wax on their abdomens. Worker bees will chew the wax until it is malleable and then add the new wax to the rest of the comb construction. Different sections of the comb are utilized for different purposes, such as storing honey or keeping brood, otherwise known as bee larva. Studies have shown that some hives have been known to consume nearly 30 pounds of stored honey over the course of a single winter. Drones, or male honeybees, do not have the ability to produce honey as their only purpose in life is to mate with a virgin queen. Queen bees can reach sexual maturity as young as four days old, and can live up to seven years. To put that in perspective, worker bees can only live up to about 40 days on average. The virgin queen will take one mating flight in her life, mating with as many as 18 to 22 drones. Once the mating flight is complete, the queen will return to her hive and lay eggs for the rest of her remaining life, averaging up to 2,000 eggs daily. This concludes our hive tour, and thanks for stopping by.